All right, I have prepared a new uh, version of the start server deal, um, and it's a little bit more comprehensive as you as you can see, um, and it encompasses a lot more and will help you um, take a lot of the manual configuring off you. Um, and I have this, the sources here, and just like before, if you want to look at the source for yourself, all you have to do is just drag the start dot uh, start server dot command and basically drop it, uh, drag and drop it into text editor or something. Um, and it'll show you menu. Um, it has the auto setup. Set so if, if it's the very first time you've ever set up a server, this will guide you through it and give you all the options and uh, basically set it up for you. Um, if you've already set up your server or you know how to do it and like to do it manually, um, it'll, you can jump right into it by using the manual or skip server uh, option. And it'll go straight through, and you can select the RAM with a preset option or put in your own amount. Um, and then at the very end of everything, it'll back up the world. And yeah. Um, the only difference is now it requires a small item. It requires this little file called graphic. All right. So these two items are going to be um, included in a zip file. Um, and that's what you're going to uh, use. So let's let's do a test demonstration real quick. I'm going to make a new folder and call it server. So all caps. I'm going to toss the graphic Minecraft server.char as well as a start.command all in the same folder. And we're going to drop it in server. We're going to open this up. And I'm going to run start server.command. You'll be presented with this little graphic that says attention. If this is the first time you've ever run the server, please choose the assisted setup. Um, if you are confident on how to set up the server, choose skip setup. If you want to quit, choose exit. And this is version 1.5 because the previous version was version 1 and I added a significant amount of stuff, but nothing really different. So it's still 1.5. Um, and now all you have to do is type in which choice you'd like to do. If you want to set it up and have it guide you through it for the very first time, you press you type in one and press enter or you type uh, two if you know how to do it or you just want to play the server or for example you've gone through step one which is the assisted setup and this is the second time you start up the server so you just need to press two to play you don't have to do anything else or three because you don't want to do anything if you put in any other options like do 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 it'll come back with not a valid choice press enter to continue um, so we're going to go ahead and press 1 and it says it's not going to ask for your username so I'm going to hack it. No, it's asking that because later on it's going to put your username in the OP's folder uh, file as well as the whitelist file. So even if you don't use them it'll already have it set up so you don't have to worry about it. All right. And what you need to notice about here is when you type in these commands, um, choices are these uh, inside the square brackets. You can only put in true or false. If you put in any other option, you're going to come back with an error when you actually start it up. Um, I could have had it check it, but it would take forever. Um, or I probably can fix it later on, but for now, this is temporary. So if you type in something like false, um, and I don't want that to uh, do it. I want online mode. I don't want animals to spawn. And a number, let's say like five. I don't want PvP. Um, I'll just put in this is my seed. And then I don't want false. I don't fly. Um, I don't want the whitelist either. Now, after you select all that, in the background you'll see that um, it has created this server.properties file for us. And that's the first step. Next is you can select the amount of RAM you'd like to use. You can use uh, any of these preset options. Um, or you can put in use five to put in your own. However, please note this is in megabytes, um, not gigabytes. And uh, I repeat, do not if you use the custom option, do not put in more um, specify more memory than you actually have. It'll screw things up, and you'll be sorry. Um, there's no way to prevent this, uh, as far as I know. I, there's probably a way I could have it checked uh, your total memory, but. Um, I'm not smart enough for Bash to do it. Um, I probably could fix it later on if I find the way. Um, but for now, just I'd, I'd use the preset options because they're the best way to do it. 
Um, so I'm just going to put in 2, which is the standard, and it's going to start the server. As you can see in the background, it's generating all the other files that we've missed. Um, doo -doo -doo. All right, now that it's finished, I'm going to do save dash all. Um, I'm going to stop it. And I know it was real quick right there, but what it did was it actually took the world folder and actually backed it up and created this file here. Now, if we do it again, since we've already set up our server, we don't need to do the assisted setup anymore. We can just do choice two which is skip the setup or manual setup or just start the server and it goes back to the same thing and you, this will always come up no matter what because you can always, you always want that option so I'm going to put in 2 now the difference is after we start it the second time since this will always keep up two backups um, you can type stop and now in the background the previous one that was called backup world dash new was named to backup world dash old then this was a uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. was uh, archived again and renamed uh, backup-world-new so technically this is the oldest and this is the newest and this is still just the regular world and that's only, that's everything that this does essentially the only other option is exit which is pretty self-explanatory um, so I'm, I, help, I hope this helps um, I'll update it when I find out what's wrong with uh, anything, if there's anything wrong with it that completely impedes it from or impedes your progress, let me know and I'll get on it. Because it's not, there's more than likely not anything uh, major or catastro uh, catastrophic that can screw things up. Um, however, there is one thing you need to know, um, and this will help you. There's two things that will happen if you don't have uh, privileges to run it. If you don't have privileges, if you've seen the other video, it'll come up with something that says you do not have uh, sufficient privileges to run this, and it'll say get info. Well, if you type uh, go to get info, you don't have any options to actually give you access. So you need to go open up terminal, all right, and type in uh, chainmod a plus x space, and then basically drag the start server command on there, and press enter. press center for some reason. Um, now it is executable. Um, and that's all you need to do. You should not need administrator access. If you do, um, you should all you have to do is put sudo in front of it and type your user or your password and press enter. But that's highly unlikely. Um, and now you should be able to just run it like normal. Yay! The only difference is remember that you need to include both the um, what's it called the small file called graphic with it if you don't you're gonna miss out on the title which informs you of what the options do so um, do not forget that All right. hope this helps notify me of any problems and I'll get on it